let's take a moment. If there's any, anyone that would like to release their resistance to fully receiving the blessings of Sophia Christ consciousness, their, your own direct connection to the source, feel free to write in the chat. Yes. And for those of you who would like to be a part of witnessing that clearing, I invite you and your power to join me and witness the cleansing and clearing of the violet flame that's coming in now, blessing everyone's body, cleansing this temple space. I'm also witnessing if you are ready to release vows and oaths from other lifetimes that you are not allowed to achieve higher states of consciousness because you Okay, because you may have taken an oath or vow that you would not surpass your ancestors or your teach your spiritual teachers or your religion, your religious beliefs. If you would like to release those beliefs into this violet flame, please type yes or say yes out loud. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a lot of people ready to lay it down. This is good. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to, explain this one. So whatever we agreed to in previous lifetimes, if we didn't work it out by, by the end of that lifetime, we bring those beliefs into this lifetime. Also, because it's quantum reality, all of your lifetimes are actually happening simultaneously. So if you are currently a nun and a Buddhist or Catholic um, convent, and you've taken vows that you won't receive a dollar to your name and that everything's going to come out of the sky from God, i.e. the church with lots of donors, um, because that whole coming out of nothing thing is a lie. Everything has to be paid for in reality. So if you, if you, what happens is if you left that lifetime still with that vow in place, you're coming into this lifetime with that vow still intact. So that's what we're clearing right now, that the truth of the matter is, is like everything comes from the source, including money, food, clothing, shelter, homes, cars, your children, like anything and everything that's considered pets, like anything that's abundance or brings joy or peace or sustenance to your life, your food, it's all coming from the source. The source has no opinion about its generosity. And so when we take vows in religion that we're going to withhold and contract ourselves for some religious doctrine or idea, we're actually harming ourselves. And I can feel the grief and the pain in people's bodies from taking those kind of vows. And I welcome you to forgive yourself now by saying out loud three times, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. You can type that in the chat if you like. And feeling those violet flames starting to burn away at the center of your heart chakra, growing wider and expanding, almost like a surgical incision down the front of your body, just blazing out through all of your major chakras. Maybe you are told you can't surpass like your parents how successful your parents were like we make such interesting weird agreements when we're children just allowing those belief systems to just be burned away by the grace of this violet flame transmission you may feel it burning right out through the top of your head through that spirit of forgiveness and also that violet flame brings renewed abundance brings renewed alignment with creativity simultaneously as it clears Great. And if you want to type in the chat or say out loud, it is safe to connect. It is safe to directly connect with my source. That would be a really powerful download to receive right now and to accept for yourself. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is safe to directly connect with my source, the source of all abundance. There are many religions on this planet that tell you, you got to go through someone else. And that's just not what we're about here. We're all about our direct connection to the source. You came from the source, you're going back to the source. 
This whole lifetime is about practicing that connection that is safe to directly connect with your own source. In fact, it's your job. It's your J-O-B. Every day, dialing in, going back home, in your heart, in your mind, knowing that's where all goodness comes from, where all of your blessings and all of your abundance comes from. It comes from the source. Good. I'm feeling a lot of integration right now. Yes. So when we elevate our consciousness, both individually and collectively into the seventh plane, into this reunion, communion with our divine mother, with the source of all life. Ironically, what happens is many people can feel unworthiness, shame, resistance, and physical symptoms because there's belief systems operating that you don't believe you're good enough to or allowed to directly commune with your source. We're not going through ascended masters to connect to the source. We're commanding our direct connection to be amplified and that our ascended master guides are amplifying the space with us. We're saying, no, 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 no. This is mine already intact. And they're all like, yes, work it. Let's go resource the source. So 